we want to order the following decimals from least to greatest. And this can be a little bit challenging when the decimals have a different number of digits to the right of the decimal. So we're going to rewrite this list vertically and line up the place values. So we'll have 0 0.01, 0 0.08, 0 0.018, 0 0.019, 0 0.008. And 0.008. Notice how two of these decimals only have two digits to the right of the decimal. And we can add zeros to the right here, which will produce an equivalent decimal that makes it a lot easier for us to compare all five decimals. Just to show what's happening, notice the original decimal here was 0 0.01 or 1 hundredth. And we replaced it with 10 thousandths. And these are equivalent because if we multiply the denominator by 10 and multiply the numerator by 10, which is like multiplying by 1, we're guaranteed to have an equivalent fraction, which we do here. And this is what's really happening when we add a 0 to the right, as we see here in black. Now that they all have the same number of digits to the right of the decimal, we can see here that 8 thousandths would be the smallest, followed by 10 thousandths, and then we have 18 thousandths, 80 thousandths, and the largest decimal is 81 thousandths. The only thing we need to be careful about now is when we give our list from least to greatest, we give the decimals in the original form, not with the extra zeros. So we'll start with 0 0.008, followed by 0 0.01, and then we had 0 0.018, followed by 0 0.08, and the largest decimal was 0 0.081. So we had the least decimal here, all the way to the greatest decimal here.